All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna talk about some news that came out that may be big, and that is that Errol Spence Jr. is being targeted by Manny Pacquiao. If the exhibition that Manny Pacquiao has, I do believe coming up this weekend, goes well, so we very well may get that opportunity to see the fight that we were gonna see before Arrow had his torn retina. Now, that also has effects on the rest of the welterweight division, guys like Jerron Ennis, guys like Keith Thurman, Terrence Crawford. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we're going to talk about what I think would be a really, really fun thing to take place in boxing and something that is legitimately has a chance to take place. And that is a fight between Errol the Truth Spence Jr. out of DeSoto, Texas, and Manny Pacman Pacquiao out of the great city of General Santos or the General Santos City, the Philippines, you know who they are. Uh, in a recent interview, uh, a member of his team, uh, I hope I don't mess up the name, Sean Gibbons, talked about that maybe what what Terrence, uh, what, what Manny Pacquiao was, Pacquiao was looking to do in his next fight. But before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please... Uh, uh, accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button uh, and join the boxing community that we have here. We really do, even if you don't agree with me on what I think about different boxing uh, subjects, we always have really good lively conversations in the live streams that we have Monday through basically every day in the live stream and in the video formats. Now, if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter to the channel, I want to thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. It really, really does mean, uh, really does mean a lot. Um, and in this particular uh, uh, video, I wanna once again thank my guy, Rip Jones, for your support in the Cash App. You also support in the Super Chat. Uh, thank you so much. And people have supported in the Super Thanks, which you can see below this video. Really does, is the reason we can continue to do this channel. So I always wanna take that little bit of time out there in the video to make sure I thank you guys for what you do for the channel. So I like this because you know what the saying is, God don't like ugly. So Errol Spence Jr., who was the uh, welterweight champion, the WBA, the WBC, and the IBF welterweight champion, had a fight fall through for Undisputed with uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, after Terrence Crawford backed out of the fight, Errol Spence Jr. said that he is going to circle the block, which I interpret it to mean that he will stay at 147 pounds and come back around to get that fight with Terrence Crawford. Now, that means he will have to fight somebody else. And according to Sean Gibbons, who is the manager for, uh, for Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, he said that Manny is considering fighting Errol Spence Jr. if he feels like he looks good in this exhibition fight that he has coming up. And I do believe that it's this weekend in China. Now, what is the likelihood of that taking place? My opinion, it's likely um, because the, because boxers don't go away easily. And Manny Pacquiao has already been on record saying that he believes that it would have been an easier fight for him with Errol Spence than it would have been against your Danny's Ugas because your Danny's U he was training to fight a southpaw the entire time and your Danny's U Ugas was an orthodox fighter that replaced him at the last at the last minute. Now, also fighters generally like Manny Pacquiao do not want to go out of their career on a loss and an opportunity to fight against Errol Spence Jr., a fight that he said he was going to take anyway right? For three major championship belts may be enough to entice him because if he was able to beat Errol Spence, and I said this before the first time that they were going to fight, that says a whole lot about the skill set of Manny Pacquiao and where he stands as far as what his legacy is. Also, there's a lot of money in that fight for him. 
So good opportunity to do that. Um, he's no longer in politics, so he doesn't have the same senatorial obligations that he did when he was a senator when he was a, a senator in the Philippines. So you know what it is. You do. You go back to doing what you what it is that you know how to do. And what Manny Pacquiao knows how to do is he knows how to fight. Right. If he stays in decent shape and he feels like he's comfortable, he very well may jump in there and try to get that try to get that done. Now, as far as Errol Spence Jr. getting that bout, uh, I don't mind it at all. Don't mind it at all. And in this particular instance, for you people that say I'm biased, not going to be biased here, but I'm going to be spiteful. OK, Errol Spence Jr. has been fighting a bunch of very, very tough fights. And Terrence Crawford, on the other hand, is going to fight David Avancian in a fight that I think is pretty much a shoe in fight for him uh, and not something that I don't think anybody was even saw coming up, much alone really, really care very much about. So a fight for Errol Spence Jr., which would probably be a lucrative fight with him against Manny Pacquiao, uh, seems to me like, hey, man, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Also, Errol Spence Jr. was going to fight Manny Pacquiao a year ago. And, man, and I do believe it's like a year ago in a couple days. I Was it November 16th of last year? It was very, very close. Very, very close to this time right now. It was definitely in November of a year ago that he was going to fight. Now, if Manny Pacquiao wants to do it, they may be able to do it in January or February, which would have then, if man, if, if, if Errol is, uh, is successful, if he's successful, not going to completely write Manny Pacquiao off. Manny Pacquiao is an, a very, very good fighter. Um, I don't think he's going to beat Errol Spence Jr. And I think, man, maybe Errol Spence Jr. ain't mess around and really kind of hurt him. But it is what it is. Manny Pacquiao is a grown dude. If uh, if Errol is able to get past him, then you can go right back into talking about the fight taking place between he and Terrence Crawford for the undisputed champion, right? And undisputed championship. Also, I think that there is a, a to a certain uh, in a certain aspect that Manny Pacquiao was a good preparatory fight for Errol, for Terrence. And the reason I say that is because Manny Pacquiao is a southpaw. And that's a southpaw-southpaw matchup. Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. may very well for, for periods of time in that fight, and I would suspect large periods of time in that fight, is going to be a southpaw-southpaw-southpaw matchup. Where... You know, and that could help Arrow, you know, prepare under the bright lights when it matters for that type of angle thing. I, mean, I don't even remember the last time that Arrow fought a uh, a southpaw, right? And then you also kind of got a herky jerky kind of quick fighter, right? Um, and kind of give you kind of different awkward looks. Could be a very entertaining fight and one that I was perfectly happy with last year. So no reason for me not to be happy with it this year. Right. Um, and so I think that there's definitely a chance that that could take place. Now, obviously, there's a lot of people that want to see Arrow fight Jerron Ennis or Arrow fight Keith Thurman. You know, hey, man, I'll take the Arrow. I'll take Arrow Manny. And I think that's just as good a fight as Arrow versus Keith Thurman think it is not obviously not as good a competitive a fight as the Jerron Ennis fight, but Jerron Ennis fight is a mandatory and that's behind the WBA and the WBC mandatories and probably isn't going to happen for a while. But anyway, I just thought that that was interesting thing to share. Um, good, good money for arrow. If that's what you care about in boxing, good op is a, be a good, um, spec, uh, a good spectacle, you know, and in, in that is definitely a big, a fighter between fight, fight between fighters with big names. So no problem with me if they make it. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.